we just have to google google uh, just type on google wireshark and click on the first link so there uh, we can see there are three option the two options are very important first one is uh, download so when we click on the download so there are three four options and i suppose everyone is using windows operating system so just click on the first link and it will ask uh, about downloading the wireshark exe file so it is just 60 mb around so just download it and install it it's it's very simple so second one is if you want to learn after this session or any time if you want to learn wireshark just click on the second option learn and there are lots of videos on youtube and lots of talk uh, about their conference and everything and many blogs so you can learn further about wireshark from these articles and videos so these two things are basic and uh, let's close this and i will start my wireshark so my terminal is uh, so you don't have to do these things uh i have to do these things because i am using a uh, linux operating system if you are using windows you just have to double click on the just search it on the uh, windows and there's a tool wireshark so just click on this and you can easily open it so when you open wireshark there are lots of options you can see and you can see there's a, a graph running in on the wlp3s0 so what is wlp3s0 it is my interface so it is uh, nothing but uh, like a network interface card and uh, it's running on my wifi this interface is running on my wifi so just double click it and it will start capturing data data means uh, the packets flowing through your network so, so for example i will just go to my um just let us direct search again wireshark and just go back to our wireshark and when we stop uh, capturing packets so as we can see there are lots of options on, on the wireshark first is source uh, you can see time source destination protocol length information and the most important option of the wireshark is filter so in filter i will type arp so there's no packet of arp so we are using web so let's type http and let's see um there's no packet of uh let's try udp okay so so as we can see we can easily filter our packets according to the protocol so first protocol is our udp and we can see there's a source des source ip destination ip protocol and information about it so what we can do with these things um let's just okay so this is my ip source ip uh, this is my system ip and this is the server ip which i am trying to connect so there are different layers of tcp protocol here so as we can see this is a frame and if we want to analyze the packet deeply like if we want to analyze the first packet uh, very deeply like uh, what are the things we can search and everything we can do so for example we can see like i am the wifi i am using is uh, xiaomi so it's telling me that i am using the network of xiaomi okay so it is it is showing the mac address of my system mac address is like a, a media access control and um, it is uh, mainly uh, it is very it is unique and uh, it is used to the first the last 24 bytes is used to identify the manufacturer so 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल एट एफ नाइनटी एट फाइव एट दीज आर द ब्राइट्स ऑफ शाउमी कंपनी एंड माई लैपटॉप इज आसूस सो द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर बिट्स इज यूज फॉर आसूस जीरो वन बी एफ सिक्स एफ सो इट्स इन द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन इट इज टेलिंग अबाउट इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल वर्जन फोर एंड सोर्स आई पी एंड डेस्टिनेशन आई पी एंड नेक्स्ट यू डी पी द प्रोटोकॉल वी आर यूजिंग सो लेट सी अ क्विक डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन अबाउट ओके सो हेयर अवर वेबसाइट एंड एज वी कैन सी यू गाइज हैव नोटिस दिस दॉक लॉक आईकन इट इज सेंग कनेक्शन इज नॉट सिक्योर समटाइम्स even if the connection is not secure we try to log in we uh, we post stuff on the websites and many things so i am just demonstrating one thing to you guys so as we can see there's a option of login and there's username and password so for example i will type test and test uh first let me just clear my wireshark Okay, so let's start capturing packets again. So continue with our saving, and uh, I will just type test and test. So just log in, don't save, and stop. So we have to trace the okay so this is the site we have to trace like these this is the site uh, we will dot info and file so we just have to do follow and tcp stream and uh, there is a lot of information about one packet like uh, if you are using if uh, our target or if we are using http so it is very dangerous to use http because it is not encrypted like the third person can easily read your information if you are submitting user password anything if you are submitting anything like see this is name and test and pass is equals to test as we have submitted on the site and it is just clearly showing in the packet that name is equals to test and pass is equals to test for example if uh, there's a third person uh, sitting be uh, between you and the site and just uh, capturing the packets uh, through wireshark like and if you, uh, and you are using http site so he or she can easily read your credentials and for example if you are using any shopping site which is http only so that's very dangerous thing like don't try to use http only sites so let's uh, see um let's see one http site any um for example let's type https sites these days uh, many sites are http so what is the meaning of uh, the s in the site let me just is there any site anyone suggest me any https site if any if anyone knows any site can anyone suggest okay facebook.com let's try facebook.com facebook.com is a https site as we like see there's a lock option and when we see this there's a lock but it is uh, crossed by a line so that means connection is not secure even though we don't uh, take this thing seriously and we just try to log in and just use our stuff uh, let me log out first okay so 
here we will see okay so we will just type test and test okay first let's uh, recapture our packets continue without saving and okay login go and save the password okay so this time let's do this again okay so https packets are TLS version two. Um, it's not submitting, I guess. Taking time. Okay, so as we can see in the TCP protocol, there's a three-way handshake and the like server. There's a three-way handshake for the authentication. And in the UDP protocol, there's no authentication between the user and the server. Okay, something went wrong. Okay, so so HTTP. Uh, if we have to analyze HTTPS packets, we can see TLS and follow TCP stream. And as we can see, we we are not able to read anything on this packet. It is everything is encrypted. You can't read any packet in this. Everything is encrypted, so it is safe. Like you can use uh, Facebook.com easily, and your data is secure on the web. Like you, if you are if you are using Facebook, and uh, uh, any middle person is sitting between you and the Facebook, and using Wireshark and uh, capturing all the packets, so you can easily. Uh, become safe uh, because uh, facebook uses https https uh, and it is very secure so let's see some features of uh, wireshark there's an option like for example if you are browsing images and everything on the web it captures everything so you just have to go to file and if you want to save the packets you have captured like for example i have data is secure on the web like you if you are if you are using facebook and uh, uh, lists and like uh, i will i will analyze this after some time so you just have to go to file and just save save is and you can save them easily and you just have to if you want to export packets and uh, if you want to export objects so as you can see there are lots of objects so if you want to just take a look on them you can easily see. okay wait if you want to know what what is this black capture color so we can easily see of a color scheme okay so we have packet is known as bad tcp so bad tcp means like the fact uh, the packet didn't received and didn't reach the server and like the white packets we can see are arp and the red ones are tcp reset and like second one is abort and for example the black one also known as check some errors and the white ones are also uh, simple and we can also change the color scheme according to ourselves we can import export from outside and 
we can do lots of modifications and there's an option of uh, voice over ip calls for example like these days we are using jio and uh, uh, 4g handsets and we when we talk uh, we talk on voice over ip protocol so we can also analyze voice over ip protocol packets and uh, for example we can see start time stop time initial speaker from to we can capture everything uh, while talking uh, when some some people talk on the voice over ip uh, for example two people talking on the voice over ip and uh, for example two people using jio and both talking on jio so we can easily uh, use a wireshark and capture the start time stop time initial speaker from to protocol duration packet state comments so wireshark is a very useful tool and uh, we can easily analyze everything from this tool like there is a hundred of uh, uh, if we want to see the features of wireshark we can see easily uh, wireshark see there are the, these these are the features of wireshark so deep inspection of 100 of protocols uh, protocols for example udp tcp http is a protocol https is a protocol and lots of protocols voice over ip is a protocol live capture and offline analysis like it's live like we started this and we just started capturing packets and we can also save we can also save them for our off offline analysis and what's our third feature standard three pane packet browser multi-platform as as you can guys see i am using linux and uh, most probably you guys are using windows so you can also use windows and it is same in every on every platform so there's no problem in that also it is graphically interface based and there's a terminal it is installed terminal it is installed on my system and if you want, we can easily see that um as we can see when i type t shark so we can use wireshark through our terminal if you are using linux and uh, other than windows so you can easily directly use wireshark through your terminal and there's lot of option you can set and you can use um so, so what's our next feature so as you as i have so showed you earlier we can use voice over ip analysis so let me see if i have any for example if we capture these if you guys know the formats of packet they are um, let me export so we can export these as a csv json file as a c array if you are using if you are using your uh, these packets in your c program like for example you have to create uh, you have to automate some process using these packets so you can easily extract extract them as your uh, c arrays and you can use them directly uh, into your c program as a csv and if you don't want to use uh, like for further so you can uh, directly use as a plain text so this is a basic introduction from my side and if you guys have any issues or, or any doubts you can ask i guess meeting is gonna end in some few minutes or some time any doubts or you want to know any feature of the wireshark or anything so i can show
हेलो ओके सो वायर शार्क इज बेसिकली यूज बाय नेटवर्क एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स फॉर एग्जांपल लाइक सम देयर्स एन अटैक हैपेंड ऑन योर नेटवर्क लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल डॉस अटैक इन डॉस अटैक साइट्स विल गो डाउन एंड देयर्स अ लॉट ऑफ पैकेट्स कमिंग टू योर साइट सो नेटवर्क एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स जस्ट इंस्पेक्ट द ट्रैफिक एंड इंस्पेक्ट द inspect the traffic and just uh, check the ip source ip as i saw, uh, as i saw, show you earlier that uh, there is an option of source I, source ip and destination ip so they just uh, uh, figure out the destination I, uh, source ip and just ban that ip from the server so <coughs> network administrators <coughs> some bad people also use the use this wireshark for uh, bad purposes for example as i uh, show you earlier that uh, if someone is using http site even ftp protocol file transfer protocol it is also not secure also telnet these are not uh, secure protocol so if you are transferring data through these protocols so they are not encrypted and anyone can see those things so wireshark is mainly used in network administrator and packet analysis like wireshark uh, wireshark is mainly used in networking field any other doubts anyone have any other doubt <coughs> user datagram protocol full form of udp is user datagram protocol uh, and uh, it it don't have uh, like there's no three way handshake and there's no guarantee uh, if packet will will actually receive or or not okay uh, i just found a dos packet analysis of my investigation so let me show you that my screen is visible siddharth yeah yeah, 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 yeah it is visible okay okay so yeah so during one inspection uh, there's a dos attack happened on the site of some company so i have just analyzed the packets and as you can see there's a source and there's a destination there's an option of source and there's an option of destination so we can see that uh, there's a lot of packet coming from the same source right like uh, the packets are coming continuously uh, and as we can see destination is same so dos is basically denial of service denial of service means if if uh, for example if the site have a capacity of 500 people and if we send 510 or 520 people on the site the site will crash so that's the scenario in this case uh, the packets were 1000 1224 and the site capacity i guess 1000 so if you send more than more packets uh, it can handle so site will crash and that's the case happened in this packet okay so this is just a demonstration and we can see here the protocol we use uh, dns and if we have to analyze deeply about this we can directly frame one 
and we can check the source come uh, device is dell and the destination the device is simon it is a uh, it is a simon is a uh, router company i guess so we have destination ip source ip and uh, we can we can analyze packet in very detail like too much detail utp protocol we can check and there's an option of port and destination port and many things so this is just a case uh, uh when i analyze the dos attack of one site and uh, there's another file i have these are the files i have saved in my system uh, after the anal analysis so i can analyze further for example arp protocol as we can see there is an arp protocol if if i will apply arp protocol just use filter so arp protocol is address resolution protocol so what this protocol do it ask who has this ip or like it's just map the uh, network so for example it is asking who has 10.6 6.6.1 ip so this is the source ip 10.66.6.100 this is your source ip so it is asking simply it is asking uh, who has this ip and who has uh, this ip and just tell me so it just create an arp table and it just stay save in your system um let's see other protocols in this packet so yeah we can see the uh, this is also a type of attack i captured it while analysis of the network so this is this this attack is called twin attack and in this attack uh, the attacker creates a twin of the other server other router so the so the victim is sending the request to the attacker router and all the details like for example if you are submitting any password or anything they are all going to save inside your goes to the attacker so that's all from my side